In this video, I want to show you five riffs that are based around a simple G major chord that I think are fantastic examples and will really bring on your playing in terms of playing embellishments and riffs. This video is inspired by the new Liam Gallagher and John Squire song, Just Another Rainbow, which is based around a G major chord. We're then going to look at very similar riffs and songs by the Stone Roses, by the Stereophonics, by the Who, and by Led Zeppelin. But remember, all of these are just based around a basic G major chord. However, to be able to play any of these riffs, we want to really play the G major chord in this fashion, not using the first finger, which keeps that first finger free to add some melody notes. Those notes are all going to be from the G major scale which we'll look at in a second, but here's just another rainbow, first of all. That just uses the G major chord, played in this fashion, which I nicknamed the George Harrison G, because he used this an awful lot. It's great for changing to a C major as well, if you're not aware of this. But the real advantage is we can use this first finger to hold down a C note in a G chord which is exactly what happens in this riff. Uh, pardon my voice, I still have a really bad cold at the moment, but I'm feeling much better, so why not film something? And this riff primarily strums the root note of a G chord, the open G on third string, and that second string going B, C, B. The only other chords in this song being an F chord, a C major, and a G. This riff is very typical of what John Squire was doing in The Stone Roses, partly because of the swirling guitar effect that he has on his guitar, some kind of phaser effect or some kind of chorus, but also it's largely based around one chord and just adding the major scale notes to that chord. A song that does that very same thing in The Stone Roses back catalogue is a song called Sally Cinnamon. Sally Cinnamon is played just using the first five notes of the G major scale. Those are the five notes. And that's our riff. We can play that with chords as well, which would be the G major chord and a C major chord. I've done a full tutorial for that one. It was in day four of my lead guitar course, which isn't just about lead guitar lines. It's about how the lead parts work over chords in this kind of fashion. So check that out if you haven't already. Another song from a similar era of the Stone Roses uh, that does this very same thing is a song called Just Looking by the Stereophonics. Just Looking by the Stereophonics uses five notes of the G major scale, but in descending, so one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one is what the riff's based around, keeping a G chord underneath, underneath those melody notes to begin with, and then changing to a C major chord. Thank you. 
And if you like this style of playing, starting off learning a riff such as Sally Cinnamon and progressing on to Just Looking and the other riffs that we'll look at in this video is an ideal incremental progression which can enable you to just add this into your playing rather than just learn any single riff. That's the intention of making this video. Hope you do that. Let me know how it goes for you in the comments below. My next choice is the earliest example that I have on my list. I was trying to think of where does all this come from? And one example from the 60s is from the song My Generation, which has Pete Townsend on lead guitar, and he's basically sticking around a G chord and he's adding major notes to this primarily and other licks very much sticking to the major third, fourth and fifth. My Generation by The Who is largely based around a G major chord, going to just an F root note. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then once the song progresses a little, we have these little lead lines. In between a cool bass line by John Entwistle. Um, and this is just using, again, first five notes of the G major scale. My generation also mixes in some kind of minor pentatonic lead line. My final main example is a song called Over the Hills and Far Away by Led Zeppelin. This is a fantastic example and whenever I'm thinking of any songs in the key of G on acoustic guitar, this is one of the songs that I think of. It's absolutely beautiful. Over the Hills and Far Away is based around hammer-on and flick-off combinations on the middle two strings at 0, 2 and 4. Certainly something to uh, be practicing if you like this sort of sound and this style. And a good warm up to this would be just playing hammer ons and flick offs at open, two, four, open, two, four. And then that's using hammer so that's ascending, and then descending. At the fourth fret, flick off to two, flick off to one. So we pick, flick off, flick off. Ascending is hammer-ons, pick, flick off, flick off, descending is flick offs or pull-offs. And if you can do that, then alternate between doing this and doing a G chord and a D major. As soon as you've got the mechanics of just going zero, two, four under your fingers and four, two, zero, so you can go ascending and descending. That's the main riff of this song, which goes between the middle two strings. Two final examples that I want to demo for you just before we finish are the song Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd and a redemption song by Bob Marley. 
both of these, I don't think either of them inspired John Squire directly, but they should certainly inspire you, and they're based around a G major scale and the G major chord. <laughs> Let me know your favourite songs based around the humble G major chord in the comments below. I'll leave another couple of uh, video links on screen now that I think you might enjoy. You'll find more of my exclusive lessons, courses and live streams at andyguitar.co.uk. The link will be at the top of the description. Hope to see you over there and I will see you next time.